Hi everybody, Linda from Longstone Crafts here with a very croaky voice. I have one of those summer doses. I'm here to do a little demo on the Lucy Clay Mammoth machine. Um, this I got this last year and I have to say it's one of my best purchases. I'll go through the size of it with you first. So let me show you our old pasta machine that we're quite used to. That's it there with our crank handle. So it gives you an idea of the size now this would have taken i suppose a six i think it's a six inch wide piece let me just show you yeah about six inches okay and now we can go from that to i think it's 10 yeah it's about 10 inches there so the lucy clay mammoth machine can give you a much wider sheet of clay. Let me go through the features with you. There's the, the gap in the rollers. You can fit your hand in there. So you can fit a whole block of clay in there. Um, this dial here, the um, larger arrows pointing to the left are to widen the rollers and the smaller arrows to the right are to bring the rollers closer together. Now with this machine, you can get paper thin slices. It's just, it's fantastic. The rollers are um, non-scratch, so you won't get the lines in your clay that you would with the other roller. And as I can say, as I can, as you can see, rather, sorry, the, the variation of your width of clay is much greater with this. Now, the features, let's make it a bit smaller. This dial here, as I say, you turn it to the right to make them smaller. So the back one is a movable roller. The front one is fixed. So I can decide to make it small. You have little gauges here. I don't know if you can see those. Let me see if we can get a bit closer. Little gauges here. They're in inches and millimeters for those of you that prefer to work in one or the other. And, um, what you do is you decide, well, I'm going to make my sheet of clay this size. You then have to close these stoppers here. They're really just, um, what would I call it, a buffer to stop this kicking back when you put the clay. So you just gently turn these until you meet resistance. You, you'll feel it when you get your machine. There it is now. Don't twist it anymore because you could strain it. And then the same on this side. And again, you just turn that till you meet the resistance there. Now, that means that when I put my clay through here, the moving roller won't kick back. It'll stay stationary there for me to roll my piece of clay. Let me show you one of the other features. Do you know the way we had to clamp the other machine to the table with this one? Well, not so with Lucy Clay. Lucy Clay have been ingenious there are four magnets four big sturdy magnets see them there four of these on the end of your machine and then what they send you is they send you four pieces of steel to put on your work surface so you can see them there and it is a very sturdy grip when you clamp them down so you can just hear it there now. Do you hear? And it won't move. It's as sturdy as anything. Um, I put my machine on one of these units from Ikea. I'll put the name of it underneath because I can't remember and I've got all my storage underneath. Um, the reason I put it on the lower down um, bench is because it is that much higher than the, the other machine. So I didn't want to have my hand up in the sky rolling. The, I'm sitting down in my chair now here and I can very comfortably roll the clay. Um, I don't strain my back, I don't strain my shoulder. So it is very comfortable at that um, level. This was the best buy that I could find. Um, I was looking for a table to pop it on. But when I saw these these in Ikea, I thought this is the very thing because I've got nine drawers of storage underneath, um, which is perfect. Now, the other great feature in this is the rollers. How many times do we find it so hard to clean our 
clay machine, so I'm going to turn it the opposite way for you now. Okay. Now, can you see there? I'm going to get a good angle for you to see. There's a front roller and a back roller. So these come off. I haven't cleaned these now since the last time I conditioned a piece of clay, so I'll show you. <laughs> and it goes rolling across the floor. So this is how you can clean your Lucy clay machine. And the other one goes. <laughs> right. Um, these um, acrylic rollers, I think I'd call them, acrylic scrapers, are um, riveted onto your steel trough. So you can see this is my cleaning up. This this is all I have. So let me just get a baby wipe. And then I'll go scramble for the, the screws to put it back together again. So I just get a baby wipe and I just gently clean off the clay. This is so easy to do. And it's not like, you know, the other machines, I got a scraper, which I probably shouldn't have. But um, I just found it so hard to clean the other machine. This was one of the main points for me buying one of these. Along with the variation in um, sizes. So we'll just clean out the trough there as well, just to be on the safe side. Now, there we are, perfectly clean again. And then it goes back in. I'll have to go rescue the rivets off the floor. I'll just take the back one off. Now, when I got this first, I used to have to turn it over, like turn it upside down to do it. But now I can, I can do it by just reaching underneath. I'll hold on to these ones. There we go. So simple, so easy. And again, just get the baby wipe. There's not too much on that either. You can see it there. Just clean it off. There we go. It's ingenious, the stuff that they've um, designed with the polymer, polymer clay artist in mind. Um, great. A great mind, a great ingenious invention. So when you get your rollers, this one says moving roller. So you know that this one goes to the back. So don't don't worry about getting them mixed up. They both have labels there. So you have an A roller, which is the moving roller, and a B roller, which is the fixed roller. You see it there. So I know that this one is to the front, the fixed, and this one's to the back. And again, it just goes underneath and it cups the actual roller there. I lift up the camera so you can see the inside there. So well built and everything has a serial number. You can see it here in case there's any problems. So what happens is it just clips back on again. There's two rivets there. Like so. And then screws back on again. I'm just gonna pause the video now to um, screw these back on and rescue the two screws from the floor. 